this octave guitar tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to play octaves on guitar in a few different ways. I'll show you how we need to mute certain strings for the octave guitar technique. I will show you a specific exercise for how to get started if you wanna play octaves on guitar. And I will show you a few octave technique options for if you wanna use a pick to get a funky sound or your thumb to get a jazz sound or hybrid picking to get more of a clean and precise sound when playing octaves on guitar. So there are two octave shapes, physical hand shapes that are typically used to play octaves on the guitar. One is gonna be your first and your third finger where you are playing the bottom octave and then two frets over and two strings up, you're playing the upper octave. First finger and third finger. You're gonna play this off the sixth string and then off the fifth string. And then as we go up, if we're gonna play an octave off the fourth string, we're gonna change the shape to first finger and pinky. So the top note's gonna go up a fret. First finger and pinky, and that's what you play off the fourth string or off the third string. So we have two string set versions with one and three, fingers one and three, and then two string set versions with fingers one and four, okay? Now when we play each of these, we have to make sure we're muting every string that is not part of the octave interval. So on this bottom one here, this is this is the main technique to get used to, and then we just wanna work on uh, being smooth with, with how we transition with it, play it with uh, individual notes, scales, licks, that kind of thing, start to get the sound and the style that we want. So play this octave octave shape on the sixth string. I call this off the sixth string. So we're playing the sixth string note here. This is A fifth fret and then an octave above it as well with the third finger. So pluck that note and then make sure the next note just clicks. Okay, so the open A, this is touching slightly right here, uh, the side of the finger. So you don't, you can't bar this down. You don't wanna get that note. So you're touching on the side of the finger to mute that. Then of course we're playing with this fourth string and now the side of the first finger is muting all the top three strings as well. So we can go note, click, note, click, click, click. So now if we strum, we're getting the clean octave without any other sounds. Of course, we can pluck octaves as well, but we wanna be able to strum them uh, and kind of work on making sure we're muting all the other strings. Moving on to the next uh, string off, the fifth string, we're gonna do the exact same thing. This time we have to mute the bottom string with the tip of the first finger a little bit. So it's touching right here, okay? So that clicks. If you get a little bit of like harmonic sound, depending on where you are on the fretboard, that doesn't matter at all. You will get sometimes, um, you know, a ringing sound like that or something that will be drowned out by the actual pitches when you're playing music. So click, note, click, note, click, click, okay? And you practice strumming it, moving up to the octave off the fourth string. Now, same exact technique, you have to mute the fifth string with the bottom of the first finger. You're muting the side of the first finger, third string. You're muting the top string with the side of the first finger or maybe a little bit of the side of the pinky there. Now you can strum and just make sure you're not strumming the bottom string. But if you're gonna do a big strum, we have to make sure that we mute the bottom string with the middle finger. So it's safe to kind of try to get that technique down to mute the sixth string. Otherwise, we're gonna start to get that low string there, unless we're really clean and clear about making sure we're just strumming the top strings. Same with the highest version of the octave that's off the third string. We need to make sure we're muting the fourth string with the first finger, side of the first finger, top note is ringing. Um, now, unless we're really confident about just strumming the top four strings, we need to use our middle finger here. Um, and, you know, don't, <laughs> don't worry about offending people <laughs> with this shape of your hand. It's just what you gotta do to mute those bottom strings there to play the octaves. Once you work on that, then I would just hit two strums of the octave, move up a string, two strums, up a string, back down like this, and then go up a fret or down a fret and move up and down the, the neck this way. So this is the exercise to work on. Use a pick or your thumb for strumming. We'll talk more about those things in one sec. Okay, and you can of course just do just one, try to get that nice and clean. Notice how there's nothing else ringing. It's really, really crystal clear that I'm just getting that octave sound. And a thumb sound is the classic kind of warm jazz octave sound that players like Wes Montgomery, especially Wes Montgomery made very famous. That was his signature sound playing jazz on the guitar with his thumb strumming down playing octaves. So it's a very appealing, warm, lovely jazz sound to get. If you want to get more of a rock 
funky sound, um, something like that, you probably want to strum with a pick. And this is very effective too. And then you can strum up as well. The way I would work on this is create a strumming pattern for yourself. And you're just pluck, uh, you're strumming up and down. And then you're choosing when to um, articulate the actual octave. So I'm lifting off my, my finger just slightly. I'm still touching the strings so I can get a click. great kind of rock or funk kind of strumming sound and adapt it for yourself as you want to, of course. And then sliding into the note is a nice, a nice effect. Notice I'm doing just what we talked about here, muting everything and this middle finger's muting there. If I do it without the middle finger there, and it's hard for me not to, I want to just clean it up and move it there because even if I don't strum that string, it's gonna start to sympathetically vibrate and get, get some ringing happen, happening potentially. So um, you can kind of find your way around that and mute things. If you start hearing extra ringing, you might need to use that middle finger a little more. So thumb strum is all the way down. Uh, pick strumming is up and down and you know adding some clicks in there is a very cool sound you can get a you know flip to a brighter pickup or use distortion or something like that to get a really awesome kind of more high energy uh, rock or funk uh, octave sound and then lastly of course you can just pluck with your fingers to get just full-on precision I still tend to mute everything the same way because I don't want the open strings ringing just sympathetically um, but I do a lot of hybrid picking where I'm using the pick okay and I'm plucking down with the pick and then with my a finger or M finger I really like the precision of that It's just like very targeted kind of finger picking, but also with the pick. So I can go into single notes with the pick and then go into some octaves like that or strum or whatever. So many options for you, but that's how we get started. Make sure you're muting the right strings when you're doing it. Do that octave exercise just to go up and down the neck and every string set to make sure it's muting. And then start with whatever articulation preference you have with the right hand, start going through some scales, just like a pentatonic scale is perfect. Up and down, blues scale, something like that. Start working on playing with octaves. It's a really awesome guitar tradition to be able to use this technique. So I hope you found this helpful. Playing with octaves on the guitar is very much a technique challenge. You might want to play a scale you already know, a melody you already know. You already know the music structure, the fretboard structure of something, but you want to play it with octaves. Well, it's really a technique challenge. So if you want some help with uh, improving your technique over time, I have a free download that is my favorite, what I think is the best guitar technique exercise to work on for overall technique and to use as a warm up. Once we get it down, you can get that totally for free with a link in the top of the description, or you can go to soundguitarlessons.com slash warm up. It's a PDF with notation and tablature and uses every left hand finger combination up and down the fretboard. Very cool exercise. Since we're talking about octaves, what I recommend watching next, I have a video about the logic of the guitar fretboard and how using the octave shape on the fretboard is a powerful way to see and connect uh, and just get some clarity with the fretboard overall using the octave shape, being able to identify any note, being able to navigate just much better. So if you're starting to play with octaves, it would be really awesome to understand it um, as kind of a theoretical uh, fretboard structure as well to get super clear on the fretboard. So I recommend watching that video next. It'll be a link on the screen here if you're watching on YouTube or you can go to the description and there will be a link there as well. I post a new lesson video every week. Next week's lesson is about composing on the guitar using chord inversions. It's going to be a fun lesson. Hope to see you there. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and happy practicing.